Hey, I'm Michael Mayo, and these are my go-to discs for the 2020 season. Let's start with the distance drivers. I carry four molds. First up, I've got a Glow Nuke SS. Very good disc. I can squeeze a lot of distance out of this disc. Slight hyzer release, it'll flip up to flat, ride out for a little bit and have just a touch of stability at the end. They're great for big, long sky rollers. You can lay them down on a roller position uh, hundreds of feet down the fairway. Big Anheuser shots, big flex shots. These discs can make it happen, whether you're a beginner all the way up into a pro level player. If I need a touch more stability but still need to go for that big distance, I'm reaching for a nuke. These still have a good amount of high speed turn in them so I get a big S curve so I can really squeeze a lot of distance out of it. But this has more dependable fade at the end so I can trust it on a flatter angle with a lot of power. Next up, we I've got a Zeus. I love this for backhands, forehands, everything uh, that I requested this disc, it can give me. It's got a little bit more stability, lower uh, on the turn in the mid flight so it stays nice and straight and then gives me that little bit of finish at the end Great for a dependable disc if you're looking to keep a disc in bounds and still grab a lot of distance The Zeus is a fantastic disc Rounding out my distance drivers is the force force is super dependable. It's always been in my bag It is such a good disc I can set this thing on whatever angle. It's always gonna have that hyzer out at the very end of it. I can send it on flex lines, spike hyzers, flat release, whatever. I can put it on this disc and it is going to fight out of it and give me that dependable finish no matter the wind. Love this disc. Next up, we've got our fairway drivers. I carry five molds of fairway drivers. I know it's a little much, but everybody's got their job and so far, I love the setup that I'm working with right now. I carry a Vulture as my first fairway driver. This has got a good amount of flip up early in its flight, holds those lines really, really well, pushes for a lot of great distance. Great in the woods, I can really carve up some lines that stay straight, but still have a little bit of finish right at the end. For a big distance, no matter the angle, no matter if it's backhand, forehand, no matter what, the Onyx gets the job done. It's got a load of glide and it stays nice and straight, dependable finish at the end. I pull this disc out all the time. It's so dependable, it's basically a point and shoot disc. Gets up and then slowly gets out on the fade. So dependable, pull it out all the time. Next up for my Overstable disc, I'm throwing a Raptor right now. I like the low profile in the design. Gets out of my hand really, really well for forehand or backhand. Uh, I love throwing this on the forehand. It can work a flex line, work its way back out. Super dependable disc, and I reach for it a lot if I'm looking for a little bit of a skip or just need that extra touch of stability to bring it back toward the basket. Next up, I, I carry the Z Undertaker. This bad boy can carve up some of the straightest lines that I've ever seen a fairway driver fly. This is so good in the woods. If I need something to hit a gap that is 250 feet away and it needs to be straight as an arrow, this is the disc. So dependable, should be in everyone's bag without a doubt and no matter your skill level. Last up, I carry the Avenger SS. This is kind of my utility disc. I can flip this up, hyzer flip, rolls up. I can, uh, it can stay under stable for a really long time. Great for rollers, great for sky, uh, annies. Really good disc that just kind of tends to sneak out and, and give me the perfect lines that I need when I need them. Moving right along into the mid ranges, I carry four molds of mid ranges. First up, I've got the ESP drone. Super dependable, fair amount of glide, but not too much that it gets taken away by the wind. It is a good disc for forehands, backhands, wind, no wind, doesn't matter. Great disc, highly recommend it be in your bag. 
Next up, a little lower stability, but still a dependable disc, the Wasp. I can throw it as hard as I want it to throw, stays nice and straight, little bit of finish at the end, forehands, backhands, doesn't matter. I can carve it up with the Wasp. Next up, I carry a Buzz. I've got varying types of plastic for the Buzz. I'm really liking this Paige Pierce Signature Buzz in the Z-Line plastic right now. Very dependable, very straight. Disc that should be in everyone's bag without question. So straight, point and shoot. It's gonna flip up just a little bit, but have a little bit of fade right at the end. It's gonna carve up excellent lines no matter what course you're on. Grab a buzz. Finally, my, for my understable slot, I use a Buzz SS. Very controllable disc. Can let it go on a bit of a hyzer, it flips right up to flat and carries for a good long while. I can let it go on a flat release and it just continues to leak out to the right for me. So good, good disc for the woods. If you're needing to just work a disc through some trees, this is the disc that I reach for time and time again. Finally, we're gonna look at the putt and approach discs. I cannot recommend the Zone enough. I've thrown it in tons of different types of plastic. I love them all. I'm throwing a Z-Zone right now. This thing has got me so many birdies. It is without question one of the best overstable putters on the market. It is so consistent. No matter what the wind is like, I reach for this disc all the time. Please go do yourself a favor and go grab a Zone as soon as you're done watching my video. Next, I carry a Big Z Roach. These are fantastic, loads of glide, uh, just a little bit of stability so it's not gonna turn over and it, it leak away on you. I can throw this thing as hard as I want. The thing just continues to move and give me that little stability at the end. So if I gotta have a straight shot that I need to, I need to work just a little bit and it needs to not skip away too much, I'm reaching for the Big Z Roach. In my understable spot, I've got a Pro D Roach. This thing, out of the box, is super, super straight. You beat it in a little bit and it slowly starts leaking to the understable side. I have grown to love this disc so much. I can buzz the basket often in straight lines with this bad boy here. So find yourself a Pro D Roach, give it a throw, See what you think. I also putt with these. These feel great, they're beadless, they've got a, an average depth inside the rim, feels good in the hand, no weird things that your fingers are gonna have to mess with, uh, not a crazy amount of like nose angle that you're gonna have to deal with. It knows how to find the chains. Grab yourself a Pro D Roach. Well, there you have it. Those are my go-to discs for the 2020 season. If you have another disc that you would recommend, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. If you like the lines that my discs provided, be sure to pick one up for yourself at discraft.com or your nearest disc golf retailer. I'll catch you next time.